The 23 year old Ayomide has been arrested. He's currently in the police custody. He's suspected for the murder of his childhood friend, sister, and ex girlfriend. Yesterday, I made a video about it when it was trending on Twitter that a 23 year old boy allegedly murdered his girlfriend, his childhood friend, and now a childhood friend, the one that blew out of proportion and you know uncovered his uh, evil acts. So you can go and watch the video or watch this one to the end to get the whole gist, the whole details, how this boy has been able to carry out this uh, evil act. Yeah, welcome back again to this vlog. My name is Fresh K. We are coming across the channel for the very first time. You're highly welcome. Please do well to subscribe, click on the notification bell so that anytime I post a new video, you'll be the very first to be notified. And for the G's vlog family that keeps coming back to watch my video, I really, really do appreciate and I don't take it for granted. I love you all for always coming back to watch my video. I love you all. So guys, the uh, 23 year old Ayomide has been uh, involved in serial murder case. From when he was 17 years old, this guy killed and buried his ex-girlfriend. When he was 19, he murdered and buried his sister. Now that he's 23, he also repeated the same act on his childhood friend. And this is the one that brought his leg outside. Nigerians are shocked about this news and are calling that justice must be served. Because if this kind of persons are allowed to work freely, they will continue to you know to commit such evil crimes and nothing will be done about it and before you know their wings will be spread so now ayomide kept on doing this and why he was in his parents house rumors has it that his parents are aware of these crimes that it was even his cousins you know that um told the uh, the authorities about this uh, act when they suspected that he killed uh, uh, and buried someone like i'm sure that if a three-year-old boy can be able to commit such crime like what happened what happened like what could be uh, his experience what could be his reasons for you know to be involved in such evil whatever happened to his mental health that you know that the thing has escalated and he's now deranged to this point of a truth yes he needs a rehab a mental rehabilitation whatever it is that you know that will make him that, that will clear his mental health but i think someone that's 23 is is well grown someone that is above 18 is responsible for every action that they take so someone that is 18 should know what is good and what is right from the age of 17 everyone knows moral what is moral so whatever it is that you are doing i think everyone knows what is good and what is bad so for this boy to start committing such crime as early as 17, I think he knows what he's doing. And that is why Nigerians are like calling for just that, saying no, that he is aware of what he's doing. And he has, you know, confessed to this crime. Because there was a tweet about, uh, about it on Twitter. When someone asked him, if you go back in time, what would you correct? He confessed that he will be, uh, if he could be able to go back in time, he will revoke whatever it is that took the life of his sister. That is like allegedly you know confessing to the crime and he has been arrested for it when he was uh, tracked his his number was tracked or the bvn that was associated to the account that he used to receiving a ransom from the single mother of a uh, uh, christiana because he kidnapped the child from before going ahead to uh, take her life he first kidnapped the girl and was demanding for the sum of three million naira yeah like what do I, what, like what does he want to do with three million naira and people are saying that he's small you know and he's innocent he's young how like what does he know is three million naira if, if, if he okay if he knows how to murder someone then he I don't even know what to say guys because i can't make excuses for such crime i can't make excuses for such crime if he knows what is three million naira he obviously knows what is good and what is bad he was demanding for three million from the single mother and when the woman said she's not able to afford the three million naira that all she could afford was 150k he said she should bring it and bring it in cash or pay into a bet account this bet account was traced everything and it was traced down to ayomide he has two phones he was trying to you know, com uh, confuse the authorities that are involved in this investigation and they traced one of the phones to his family house where he was arrested 
currently in police custody. I don't know what's going to be his case or his fate, but I'll keep you updated on this information or on this uh, story. So stay tight by subscribing if you've not, liking this video, giving it a thumbs up, and sharing your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching to the very end. I'll see you on the very next video. Bye.